it's OV and welcome back to Aussie Adventures. This is my first cooking video. It's gonna be a little bad, okay? Because I've never really cooked before. So what we're gonna be making is these from my Star Wars cookbooks from my, so I got for Christmas. And what we're making is she shock fruit bowls. This is what we're gonna be making. It looks like this. Um, I don't think, I'm not guaranteeing it's gonna look the exact same, but let's see. So the first thing you're going to want to do, which I've already done, uh, is cut up a dragon fruit lengthwise. So see, this is a dragon fruit. You, It says, the recipe says, you can take either a white one or a pink one. So I got a white one because we couldn't find any pink ones. Okay, so then, after you get your dragon fruit cut up lengthwise, you have to get kiwis, okay? Um, then you have to cut up strawberries, or you could do cantaloupe, but I don't like cantaloupe, so I'm doing strawberries instead. When you cut up the cantaloupe, if you're making it with cantaloupe, you have to make it circular, and you don't have to, but that's what the recipe says. I'm just trying to follow the recipe. So what you need after that is you need to get a bowl. So I have this bowl here, and then the recipe says you have to take the stuff and put it in your bowl. So I'm going to put in these strawberries. Then what we're going to have to do after that is take some sort of scoop. This is an ice cream scoop, I think, but... Uh, I didn't have any melon scoopers. What does it say? Melon scoopers? Melon ball? A melon baller. I don't know who has any of those. Um, if you do, then okay. I don't know where to get them. So we have to take this and cut a little ball. That's not a ball shape. Uh, whatever. I don't know how to make a spherical dragon fruit with an ice cream scoop. Um... That's also not a sphere, but... Okay, so the next thing, after you've got rid of all of the fruit, which I have in here, you have to use a paper towel to dry out the inside. This one's still wet too, because the fruit's wet, which means the inside of the dragon fruit will be also wet, which both of these are wet, because not completely dry right now, but that's okay, because uh, I'm not trying to be professional. So then, what you do after that is you take fruit, which I have a bunch of fruit over here. So, I'm gonna bring this with me. So we have fruit, so green berries. Then I have raspberries here. You can't really see those. I'm gonna move this over a little bit. We got blueberries and blackberries. So then after that, you're gonna take your bowl again. You're gonna grab your raspberries so just a few raspberries if your bowl is a little full so just a few of these and then some of these and then after you do that you have to add the recipe calls for some orange juice so i have half a cup here so you're gonna pour that in Then you have to take this and toss around the fruit. Okay, so the next thing you have to do after that is you have to take your stuff, scoop it up with some, uh, I think it's called a serving spoon, but who knows. You're gonna take one of your dragon fruits by, after that, I'm gonna have to get rid of that. So after you do that, you have to take a lime and I, if you have a cheese grater, it works better, but we didn't have one. We couldn't find a cheese grater. So you make lemon zest. I don't know why. And then now we're going to try it because I don't know who wouldn't make this and not try it. The line's too big. Okay, still good otherwise. Hope you enjoyed the video and a little bit of advice on cutting the thing too big, the one. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Subscribe if you're new or you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.